There have been a lot of changes in Kiramoto 2.3. Um, Parity has been brought to all of the functions here under uh, primary uh, cutting functions, roughing, outlaying, and contouring. They now all support inside and outside operations. They all support tabs. Um, and the visualization engine has essentially been rewritten. So to help review really quickly, uh, let's just look at a couple things. It looks like the outlining first, which is, you know, for details, but it helps to show um, some of the features here. So slicing basically just produces the, the rough slice that you're going to see, but not the pathing. If you want to see the way that paths are going to be generated in G-Code, you have to go to Preview. And here you can see the move lines and the cut lines. Um, there are a couple of other things that you can uh, look at in this mode, which are kind of interesting. Uh, you can look at the progressive order in which cuts are going to happen. Like this, this is um, not depth first, so it's just cutting down one layer at a time. If you turn on depth first, you're going to get a slightly different view. So let's go to the bottom and start progressively. You'll see that it cuts in order of pockets. Here we're cutting down through each of these things and the outside. Um, and you can also move through regions of these things uh, to help debug. Um, another thing that this has is arrows, which are useful to um, debug some fine movements. So here, if we go down and look at, oops, you'll see that there are arrows here and they show you the direction that the lines are going in. So if we go to the bottom and follow um, a path here, you can see, go back and see which way an arrow is uh, tracking. So uh, that's just sort of an interesting aside. Um, as I said, uh, all of these operations now support inside and outside. So if I go back and enable roughing, for example, which is how you produce um, cuts for large amounts of material before you do outlines or contouring, um, this has inside outside the way it did before. There are a couple things to note here about roughing that have changed. Um, through holes uh, don't typically get cut all the way out anymore. You have to enable that with clear voids. So then this will be milled out entirely if you clear voids, um, which is now off by default. And the other thing is clear faces, uh, which is not on by default. If you don't choose clear faces, then it's just going to cut down by your step down rate. But if you select clear faces, it's going to make sure that the cuts basically uh, hit these flat spots and clear them off. So that's important. Uh, the other thing to note, which is a carryover, roughing has a leave stock. Um, leave stock uh, offsets the cuts from these uh, vertical faces and leaves material for the outline uh, path to clean up. And then of course, contouring, which you're already familiar with if you've used this before, is how you do things like terrains or fine curved finishes. Uh, actually, it's hard to see with roughing on, so let's do it without roughing. Um, it's like that. Uh, and all of these things now support uh, tabs. So if I turn on tabs, for example, um, I think I have Z bottom set here, so you can't, let me, let me turn this off. Okay, let's do this again. Uh, and now you'll see the tab cutouts showing up here and here, all the way around, projected radially, radially from the center. Uh, this is a little bit easier to see in outline mode. Uh, with outside enabled. There we go. So now we can see these uh, radio cut lines, um, which is useful for leaving a part in the stock. Um, and then you can manually remove it when the cut is done. Um, stock has been uh, updated. Uh, now you enable it explicitly <clears throat> and we can set an offset. And then you'll see the part basically floats to the top of the stock and the stock is offset from the, you know, part boundaries. Here, so there are a few things that are only really operational when stock is enabled. So you'll notice that your origin is now bound to the, uh, the stock. If you disable stock, then it's bound to the device. So stock is a way of controlling your origin, um, which is important. Um, there are a few things that you can do with stock turned on. Uh, so in this case, I had Z top offset that pushes a part down into the stock that allows you to do facing operations. Um, and then for outlining, for example, it usually cuts to the bottom of the part, but if you don't want to cut to the bottom of the part, you can set your Z bottom to something above that. 
and that will then push up the bottom of the of the cut. The other thing here is the is the clearance. So when I cut the tracing here, this is the clearance, how much above the part you're going to move. Um, and you can control that under the, um, the Z clearance here. The feeds are maximum feed rates. Um, even if your firmware you know, has maximum feed rates, this allows you to explicitly control it here. And then depth first is sort of the way the routing uh, path of generator, they're just gonna go straight down layer by layer or they're gonna attempt to carve out pockets first um, before they um, carve out other areas. And so that's you know, pretty obvious. Let's take a look at this. I think I did this before. This is depth first. And in this case, you'll see that it tries to go down through the holes um, and then it goes and does the rest of it. So if you don't have depth first turned on, let's turn tabs off. And then you go and you look at the paths you'll notice that it just goes linearly down uh, top to bottom, uh, which can lead to more movements. And so it's useful to um, use depth first on some parts, not all parts. Not everything is amenable to this uh, sort of optimization. And I think those are the primary highlights of what's changed in, in 2.3. A lot of it has been rewritten um, to be more efficient and to make room for some changes that are upcoming in 2.4, uh, which is uh, such as cut visualization, which is going to be pretty exciting. So um, please test, provide feedback, join us on the forums, and look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for your time.